We're in the kitchen now with uh, James Martin, and um, and he's going to show us that there can be nothing better than a, 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 what is it? Essentially, a giant sausage roll. It looks. <laughs> you always make them that big. Uh, yes. Like one big one, and then you cut it up. Yes, because there's enough for one. There's enough for two. <laughs> yeah. One for lunch, <laughs> one for dinner. Yeah. Before you do that, yes. Um, I mean, how do you stand? Because you're a family of farmers. Yes. So how do you stand on uh, on uh, vegan pies, vegan sausage rolls? Don't mind at all, because uh, the way you produce meat, the way you produce veg is the same. It's, it's done with care, passion, and it's a tremendous amount of work just to produce carrots. Anybody that's got an allotment will understand that it's very difficult to produce food just as carrots. These are the these are the Greg sausage rolls that everybody was talking about a little while ago, and yeah. um, and that's helped the company hit sales of a billion pounds for the first it? time in their 60 year history. Um, Have you ever tried one of these? No. Oh, no, and you can tell because first of all, people say the colour of it. Well, the colour of it is because obviously it's vegan. You can't use the eggs. Yeah. You don't get the glaze. Can't on glaze it. it. That's the, right. The normal ones, but you know, take a little go. By the side of that, there is a is curried a pie. sweet potato and butternut <laughs> squash vegan <laughs> pie, and this is made by butcher John Thorner's Limited Vegan Pie. It won the highest honour title at the British Pie Awards for the first time in the history of the event, beating nearly 900 rivals. So it seems. Thank you. It's not bad, actually, that. It's all right. It's not bad. Nice. All right. Don't mind that at all. Mm. And then should we try this and one? pie's got butter and squash in it. That's no. really good. That's um, a good pie. I but... have a little taste of that. It's got things like turmeric. And mm. they put that, that you turmeric smell itself flavour. Amazing. Tell you That's what's really good, good with that as well. Mango chutney. Mm. It's absolutely mm. fabulous. What a good there. idea. Now then, make your sausage roll. Oh, that's so, really good. So, sausage rolls, uh, there's two, two parts to it, Freddie, first of all. And we're going to make the sausage rolls first. First of all, it's all about the pastry. Yeah. So the pastry for this, uh, I've mixed together some flour, butter and water. This, this is the basis of puff pastry. OK, so it's the way you a serious load of butter in it. Yeah, it's, well, it's the way you incorporate the butter that makes it the difference between rough puff pastry and puff pastry. This is classic puff pastry that you would use for middle foy, that classic... Perfect yeah, I've layers. seen this on Bake Off. It takes forever. Well, rough for pastry will be all these ingredients just diced up and mixed together. Now, this is the butter. It has to be done with butter. It cannot be done with margarine. And is that room temperature? Are you just going to put that whole thing in there? Yeah, it's like me making a bacon sandwich at home. It's like this. James <laughs> Martin. Equal quantities, bacon. You are outrageous. Oh, I love this. And then we, we do... This... You've made, like, a six-pack of butter. Like, the irony, if you eat that, you won't have those thick. abs. If I showed you, this is my six-pack. <laughs> butter <laughs> abs. <laughs> butter right. abs. So then you do what was classic, classic called a book turn. So yeah. You basically fold this over, and you fold it over like that. Now, you roll it out again, and you continue to do that three times. This brings up a With more butter? No, not more butter, just... Oh, right, OK, OK. Cool. So you keep it nice and cold. So this is why we do it on a marble slab yeah. rather than on a wood, uh, wooden slab. This is the end product. So every time you roll it, make a little... That's two turns, three turns, so obviously, you keep know. it in the fridge. So you know. It freezes brilliantly, this, as well. So after each rolling, you put it in the fridge? Yeah, but it's a book turn, that's what we do. Right. So it's the same process if you're making croissants or pan au chocolat. It's the same way of laminating that butter in between the pastry. OK, and that's what's going to give it that bubbly bit. Yeah, but the difference being with a croissant and a pan au chocolat, you would use this, this dough would have yeast in it as well. But it's, oh. the way you add it is exactly the same. So plenty of flour on here to stop it from sticking. Yeah. That Look at that, that's there. perfect. How many, how many times should you... Should Quite you three times ideally. That, that's, that's the key to build up this thousand-layer sort of scenario as well. Now, I shan't do loads of them, but because... I've made loads anyway. But then we take this mixture like this. Then sausage meat is the key. Really good quality sausage meat. Take mm -hmm. it out of the skins. Mm -hmm. The reason for this is already been seasoned. Oh. So the butcher has already seasoned it. So rather than buy your sausage meat, which is oh. in its raw state, it's got all the herbs in it. It's got oh, everything brilliant. you need in it. If, um, if you were to buy more budget sausages, would that make your pastry soft? That's your problem, is that it contains quite a lot of fat. You didn't need a percentage of fat in... Sausage meat, and particularly in pork, because, I mean, we were pig farmers when I was growing up as a kid. So, I mean, the best pork, literally, this country produces is a pork called Middle White. Um, but it's kind of fallen out of fashion. It used to be really popular in the Second World War. People had it because the amount of fat to meat ratio, it's about, some cases, on a pork chop, 50-50. Mm. Oh, my God. But people wouldn't buy it because they think, they think it's pork should do that, the yeah. 100 meat hurdles. They're never supposed to be designed to that. It's supposed to be the fat, it's the flavour right. of it, really. So once you get that, that's really the one to go for. But it's rarer than the King Panda now, is the middle way. Is it? They produce a, a fair bit of it in Gloucestershire as well. There's a lovely little farm there. But so hang on, a... this is... We've got, I want to constantly... Because you're rolling it. So we fold it... So we roll it, egg wash all of it. 
Then we roll it so it's a little bit tight in there. Yeah. Like that. So you've got this little lip. Then, when you get to this stage, see so you've got that little gap. Yeah. Then we crimp it like a, like a pasty, I suppose. Aha. Uh -huh. And that seals it all in there. Seals it all in. The thing is, the way you're talking and the way, what, you're, what you're doing here and the farms that you visited, in the Great British Adventure, which, uh, which I, I was watching last week, actually, it was, I was watching you uh, cooking mussels. Um, I mean, that really, that's almost un, um, uh, happily old school. It um, has to be. We produce some amazing stuff in this country. Um, and all I want to do is just show people what's on our doorstep. You know, from, mm. from Dover Soling, Hastings, that we export so much of it, about 90-odd percent of it. And when you're sat there having a meal in... Spain or Italy and enjoying your nice bit of longestine, it's probably from either Ireland or Scotland. It's crazy, isn't and it? We that export actually? like 90 odd percent of it, and it just seems crazy that when we food this good, particularly now what we're going through at the moment, mm. is right on our doorstep. Yeah, no, but also cute. supporting the, the lamb producers and stuff like that. You well, know, if you miss, the, of people. missed any of the, the great British adventure with, with James, then uh, that's all on the ITV hub now. So you're popping that into the oven? In the oven. And this how long does that cook for? About 45 minutes, 200 degrees. But then the key to it is this. And this is, this is the good stuff. This I is the sauce. Yes. So three ingredients. Water, sultanas, golden sultanas. Soak them overnight. Now, I would say this recipe is my, set, my own. It's not. There's an amazing chef called Paul Ainsworth down in Cornwall. Runs a Michelin-style restaurant in Padstow. This is the idea I got from him. But you take the sultanas, soak it overnight. So you don't use the water? No, don't use the water. You can add to it if you want. And you take brown sauce. What well, straightforward? Straightforward brown sauce. Nothing else. And then mm. we basically stick the lid on it and blitz it. But you have to soak the sultanas overnight. And you blitz it together into this sauce. Give it a good 10, 15. Yeah. Minutes. Give it blitzing. And then what we end up with, I've got a fresh knife here. I wash my hands as well, because the raw meat mm -hmm. and cooked meat. And then we've got this when it comes out. But you have to serve these. At room temperature. Don't, whatever you do, put them in the fridge. If you want to, you can freeze that as it is, like that. Mm. You can cook them from frozen. But this has got to be warm. Them. But they must be, not out of the oven hot, but these oh I've taken out gosh, about, for about an hour. Incredible. But then you dunk it in that sauce. Now you can finish this off with some bacon bits over the top. Can I just grab a little bit? But have a taste of that. The sauce, you end up with this amazing mm. sort of umami fruitiness. Man, that's good. But also, that sauce will also work with these pies as well, because it's great for vegetarians. Oh, that's That is so that's good. Tasty. That's a good sauce. Nice, isn't it? I was yeah, trying to, you know, level with the, the Kiev and all last time we was here. Oh, I know. I know, but that's a good sausage roll. That's <laughs> we, really um, sausage we talked about the uh, talked about the series. You can watch that on the Hub. Um, this is the uh, accompanying book and, uh, and the recipes in there. And thank you very much. Come back soon. It's a, some uh, more yummy uh, stuff. Of course, why not, yeah.